So, I want a lockpick is a puzzle game about opening keys and doors perfectly. I've done uh I've done about a year ago. So, game gets really cursed. The the developer has finally put out the full version, which appar well, appar mm. apparently apparently there is new lore in the game. <laughs> like the Kina god of keys and doors. I guess if I get infinity keys, I can break the key the god. I'm not going to show the whole video of the lore. It's quite long honestly, but it's like nice to meet you. I will be your guide. Uh and Lily was apparently here for an enrichment program, whatever that is. Uh <laughs> And yeah, okay, anyway. The god slash goddess is kind of a meme characterization, and there's quite a lot of dialogue options still. I don't even- I, I'll just do a recap, alright, of like... I'll, this is the first level of the game, and it just shows like the, the, the basic gameplay, which is to pick up keys and unlock doors of that same color. Let's just say that this game goes in many places afterwards that are way more insane than that, as it introduces master keys where I can press X in order to toggle its ability to open any door. Later introduces stuff like the red key, where if you're holding a red key, you are able to break freezing off doors. So those doors are currently iced, so we can break them with one red key in inventory. And then there's also green keys, which require... Uh, the questionably necessary mechanic of green and blue keys, which kind of do what red does, but more inelegantly. And then there's brown keys, which infect doors, turning them brown, which you can also do without opening the door. Like, it can be cursed without uh, needing to break it. So, yeah, that is, believe it or not, just like the mid-game of being cursed. Because then, they introduce negative keys. A real sensible concept. Look, it's best to not think about negative keys too hard. But then it gets worse because they add even more unintuitive mechanics. Like this one, where it, this is like a white door. Except, if you can open the white door, it redirects the keys lost to lose orange keys instead of losing the six white keys. And of course, like, it still requires that you have the six white keys first but then redirects it. Then there's doors that have multiple costs on them, and also they all redirect to black, by the way. So it has all these costs, but then the keys that are removed are all black. So this, this would remove minus eight keys if I was able to open it. That would all be black. Then there's glitch keys that change color to be the color of the door that you last opened. Did I mention the game is free? Also, I think a level was added to this world. I didn't complete it, and I 100%ed the freaking lockpick game. But lock <laughs> the, the, like the demo was like in its own game in itself, which is why I've basically done it all. Okay, I'm gonna reveal the most meme mechanic in this freaking game, because, I mean, it's gonna be used uh, here. Yes. There's imaginary numbers and imaginary keys and imaginary doors by the way also anyway i don't even know where to start for the new content there's this i remember this this was a level where okay we had a white door but we cheated that oh my god i remember we cheated that white door to existence <laughs> which that is uh i don't think i need to explain that because they're going to use that mechanic later on but chapter one the autumn woods so Welcome to the great beyond. From now on, you can also salvage a door to influence the story. So this is the new area, like, this is actual gameplay now instead of recap. Hmm. No need to bust at the uppercase. Yeah. The great beyond, and there's a meta puzzle in the hub. When you solve a puzzle, a copy of it opens up. What do you mean a copy of it? This, I guess this is the copy area? So you only need to solve a meta puzzle once? Okay. I have a 100, and this is a blank door that requires me to have zero keys, so I will need to get rid of 100 keys that are cyan to open that. So, page one, wake up call. So, <laughs> as you can see, this game is a spaghetti monster's wet dream. So, those strange sigils with arrows are called salvage points. When you touch it, it collects the debris from the next door you open. Okay, so it basically, when you touch a salvage point, the next door you open becomes an item in the hub. It is that purple flashing thing right here that is the salvage point. Now let's go step by step in this level to not overwhelm. This is a negative master key. Remember, uh, Yeah, remember master keys that could open any door? Well, this one it does the opposite of opening any door, so clearly it means to add a copy of that door. We also have a star key, uh, which is on the master key, which means that it will lock it 
to negative one master keys. In other words, I will not be able to lose negative master keys. Basically allowing my use of master key to be infinite. So that's ten negative red keys. So this is a red door with a, co a cost of negative eight. A negative cost means that I gain eight keys when I open that thing. Well, I could choose to open that thing. Or I could duplicate it infinity times due to my in having an, an infinity case of negative master keys so let's say that i just wanted to try to get to the right side what would i hit all red door that sacrifices all my red i can't open the all white door because i have no white keys i need to obtain white keys from somewhere we have a blast cyan door, but it costs white, so that won't help. I need to get white from somewhere, and that must be this one, which requires a cost of negative. Hmm. Well, I can do that, getting that. And wait, I, I have eight positive keys, which isn't good. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can open this now. And this costs negative four red. I don't have negative four. How am I, how am I going to get negative four? When the only thing I can do is set my- use the exact red key to set my amount to zero, then get negative three. Oh, there also, by the way, there's now drawing tools in the game. Uh, which is a meme, like, I can- I can- wait, how, where's my ability to circle the negative three? Okay, I have no idea how to use this, but I know this must have taken a lot of programming effort, so I don't want to not do anything. But I don't know- why doesn't clicking the pencil icon draw? In fact, how do I draw? The game is so hard that even the drawing feature is difficult. Anyway, maybe we go for the goal instead, you know, because with meta puzzles, you don't know what the level wants to become, like what to turn the level into. Now, solving levels in this game, it's it's like there's aspects of it that are about, you know, backwards thinking, reasoning from the finale, you can have global arguments, and those are attempted like solving techniques to avoid too much root force like bifurcation stuff. Notably, the uh, having zero master keys, which is forced due to this, uh, means I'm never picking up the star master key in the normal winning part, uh, the normal win solution. Actually, because that's a frozen door, it requires having one red key as well. So the only way to get white keys at all is that door right there, because it gives us, well, its cost is a negative four red, so it gives positive white uh, when you open it. That might be the door that we're duplicating as well. Another problem, though, is we're going to need to get rid of all of our cyan keys. So let's just show off this real quick. So the interaction here is that I need negative four red to open. I have negative eight, so I have more. <laughs> I have enough negative reds to open, which gives me four white keys. But if I have the if I use the negative master key, I can duplicate the door and get eight keys. That's enough for the first step. But then we need to have no cyan, uh, and this. How are we even going to do that? We have 17, which is a really inconvenient number. Now, there are two annoying ways to reduce my cyan. Probably not the 100, I really doubt that. Um, but I can spend my white keys and convert them to, to reduce my cyan. Or, this thing, this thing that costs all my red keys and costs all my negative pink keys and then converts them into a loss of cyan keys. For some of the, like, we can undo... And so, for example, like right now I have five pink keys. My god, why is it clicking do what I think it will? Um, and I can spend it like four of them on this pink door. Then I can use this door, which costs white, which and but also redirects it. So now I have negative pink keys. The the other part of this is that if I swap my uh, first of all, gain some negative red keys, so then I have negative eleven red. Do that, and now so you can see that, like, that works, um, and it sums up the negative 2 and the 11 <sighs> in order to reduce it by 9. So that's 11 minus 2, that's 9, and yeah. But, you know, that's not the number I want exactly. Though interestingly, um, that is the perfect number for, you know, if, if I had the Blast Cyandor used. So let's use that Blast Cyan door here. So now it's at 9. Is that the number I wanted the whole time? Hmm. Feels like there's going to be another trick or something. So, but I can do that. So now... Oh. <laughs> sure. Cool. 
Well, I'm kind of surprised that that didn't take that long. Okay, also the cyan being 100 here is very suspicious. That implies that the meta puzzle for this one is to get to that 100 cyan door and then copy it into the overworld. Now, I I don't know how we can get to negative uh, even po like, what is this? How in the world would you ever gain 100 cyans when everything about cyan is like it costs cyan this gives you negative cyan this will also has the potential to give negative cyan but there's no way to fix the freaking negative cyan to become positive so the only remaining thing with cyan is this blank white door but i'm pretty sure this is like i don't understand these i'm pretty sure that this is equal to just a regular white door except for the case of glitch keys but i don't know i guess there is one way it's this it's so if if this door can open with more negative pink keys then i will get positive cyan keys from opening it <sighs> kind of makes sense that i'm infinitely duping this pink door because like a, in, for a bicolor door if you duplicate the bicolor door it, again it redirects to a different key color so therefore if i can make infinite copies of this i can make in i can use it infinity times well let's just try that so, hmm. so now I guess the question is, do I have enough, like, is, is this number good or do I have to make more adjustments to it? Because there is no guarantee that this will be a multiple of 100, uh, this will hit, be able to hit exactly 100 because I am modifying the value of pink keys by three each time. Why do I feel like this rep repetitive motion is like a foreshadowing for how this is gonna be like, <laughs> like if this becomes a series? Also, the fact is I'm gonna need to undo all this because there is a white door with cost six, and I forgot to align it so that it worked. <laughs> oh God! Like I don't have enough white keys to open that six cost door that needs to be unlocked. Unbelievable. Well, anyway, that's why cheat engine exists. Okay, um, so uh, let's look at the damage. <laughs> hmm. 98. 98 is not a thing that is very divisible into 100. Hmm. We can switch it to be negative 3 instead. I don't know. Or we could have just, like, lost a different number of white keys. I don't freaking know. In fact, that is ex- Oh my god, that is exactly 103. Well, that's good, isn't it? Hmm. Well, the thing is... No, this will work. This will work. The, the sad part is... <laughs> that I was exactly three overloaded. So I now need to do that again. Okay. Okay, we do the same, except this time we stop at 94, then we do the exact same thing as before, which is to switch to here, switch to this one, 100, there it is. Okay, so now we can also open these, like, we have keys for all these colors, and now we have the 100. Okay. However, the sanity has not been salvaged, so that means I can go here, open up the 100, and open up the blank. When you exit a level for any reason, you will reappear its entrance. Or reset yourself. Sure. Are there going to be puzzles about this? Chess battle advanced. Summation station mini. Yes, okay. Let's not forget the old puzzles. Some of them reincarnated in a more interesting form. Okay, new puzzle with me. <laughs> well, it looks like someone was addicted to these kinds of puzzles. So this is a black door with a negative 63 cost. There's also a glitch key. Uh, a glitch on lock. And remember, this all redirects back to black. So, I mean, like, let's just pick some random nonsense. Oh, wow, I got to zero? What the? Oh, right, okay, so from here, after you open all the doors, you can then select from the keys that you left behind in order to maybe add to 63. Except this, I actually have, like, two cyans. So, well, this is not going to work. 
anyway, it's going to go for way more than 63, and we need a blank, so we need exactly 63, uh, we ex need exactly 63 cost. This is already going to be a disaster, by the way, because notice that the the glitch means that I duplicate uh, cyan, and I have, of course, way too much cyan. Don't even think we're ever going to be using that key, so why we even why even open that door at the end, honestly? We open, come on. We open the 72 and then get rid of it. Well, hmm. We do have a big question about the rest. Like, don't, don't we need cyan? We're going to need to pick up the 36, as... The others are very likely to overshoot us. The last door one open is an orange door, probably, because it will change that glitch status to an orange. But don't these overshoot it still? Like, way too much. Negative 52. Well, this doesn't overshoot it. However, the number is bad. So, okay. We're going to need to keep that orange around because the number is 63. Uh, that's an odd number. The only way to make our total sum number odd is an orange key with the amount 1. So we need to save that. It's hard to imagine we would ever trash like, like anything but the top row, I guess. We're going to need the 36 for sure. Then We're going to then change our... I mean... What the, so so the glitch key uh, the glitch lock in here is going to copy one of the colors. It's not going to be cyan. That's too much. So what is the color that's copied? Is it blue? I guess. I don't. We can't imagine we copy orange because orange has the one in it. So I'm going to take the twelve. Then I feel like we're going to take the three instead of just the one. So that what is that total to? Exactly sixty three. Perfect. So yeah. The so I'm just gonna put up the equation then. Like not that it's much of an equation, but just like the the just wanted to make sure it's obvious that the blue is doubled. Anyway, there it is. And so th does that have any meta thing at all? Hmm. I don't know. That's it's a little weird that that didn't have a meta. Shouldn't this all have a meta? Oh okay. Three, four. So those are other points that we could maybe... Do the, well, not maybe. We're definitely going to turn those into different locks. And what is that? Omega key? <laughs> Amazing. Well, well, welcome to Ordinal Clickbait. Coming near you. But there's, there's also another one that just... Uh, okay. Okay, your primary focus is to locate the next chapter and not to look at. I want a toothpick. So... Page 3, Tunnel Vision. Ah! Okay, so we have another thing that we can turn into something. And also a normal goal. I can open this blank door immediately? Hmm. I can also lock my red to zero right now. If that's a good idea. Hmm. I mean, I can only make progress by taking this, right? Lockless. Freaking, that, that matters only because of the glitch key. That, that's the only interaction. It has no lock. It will just modify the green into an... I mean, the glitch into an whatever color was touched. Again, assuming that is the relevant part. Hmm. Switch that. Sign flip green into a negative green. That doesn't look great right now. Surely I want to open this one first. I don't know. I'm just opening as much as I can right now. Maybe wanted to keep red, by the way, considering the uh, this negative thing. We can get, we can obtain those. I don't think we have a source of red anymore. <laughs> Eroded for green. Oh shoot! Did I forget to use that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, wait, no, because there's a sign flip green right there. What a troll. Okay, wait, no. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes these can feel a bit brute forcey. So that will that can open up right here. Well, if I had another green key, I would be able to open this, which is a negative two cost. Unfortunately, I've locked purple using star purple key. Not great. Unstar red. Oh shoot, there was an unstar red? Okay. Then that means that we should have kept the red along with us. Hmm. But we still have managed to screw up on green keys somewhere. Just looking forward to the level where the input thing is in, like, the output of this is in the same level that it's in. So, <laughs> so like, this is the kind of game where you would just love a timeline feature to be able to scroll 
like and and then go back do something if it didn't affect any of the things in the timeline be able to move to the anyway maybe the minds of puzzle gamers just aren't enough to appreciate parallel universes and 5d even though they reasonably should <sighs> Like, for example, how I just needed to undo all the way back there to open a freaking blank door. Anyway, we can star this now and open this. Hmm. Shucks game. <sighs> Fine, I guess we unsatisfyingly open that. That removes every one of my greens. That looks bad. I mean, uh, with this, I can open all this stuff. Even opening a red, which doesn't matter because red is locked right now. I don't know. Wait, once again, I'm just trying stuff here. It, just, it, it doesn't make sense. I need to have five green to, to break the paint on this door. So how could I ever be in a state where I don't have green? Hmm. Let's just undo... Like, don't take that. And go back. No, that's terrible. Terrible. We l Let's go here. Now I don't have enough green, so... Red's in a bad spot, too, I guess. Now we need no orange. Hmm. Ah. Uh, it does not seem like I can get to no orange from here. Or that's a no red. I, which, in fact, I do have the capability to get no red. Hmm. I can't open the green. That's a troll. Hmm. So, was there a way I could set it up so I have no orange keys here? Then I would be able able to open i can't even open this purple door what is going on okay let's get back to a similar position to where i was but this time i have the ability to uh well hold on blank orange door needs to be gotten rid of first but but hold on no i accidentally got rid of green door <laughs> okay so now uh i don't have the red thing anymore which means that i can open this up now having zero red keys We have another blank red door coming up. But we should be able to get rid of our entire orange stack. There's a star purple key right there. But, hmm. This is cursed because I need to get rid of all my purples. And, like, like this is the moment, right? Because I would need... Oh, th there's a... Wait, there's a blast glitch door which happens to be purple right now. So I'm pretty sure I just win from here. Okay. Like, I already broke all erosion. Also, undoing why. Why? Ugh. Anyway. Like, undo... The undo system is great, don't get me wrong, but... Sometimes it moves you way too far back. Anyway, I can do that. Now, I have no purples. Now, I have negative two purples. And I've basically just... Solved the level. Wow. How evil. In, in situations like this, where you know the level is two solutions, do you intensely look at everything that is remaining and be like... Ah, yes, this is the use of the alt solution. <laughs> well, there it is. Hmm. Well, this sort of certainly seems like... Well, it's implying that you're taking the three green key door. But it is called tunnel vision, so maybe it's a troll and the green is elsewhere. Like, it seems like there's no guarantee... Like, couldn't this be the one with the green door? I mean, maybe not. There's no green in this level. But maybe it could be, I don't know. Oh, also, there is a... Um, pressing escape used to quit you out of the game immediately, which is funny, um, but rude. Uh, so now there's like an entire pause menu and settings now, which, you know, it's great. I, I've never seen a game without a pause screen before, let's just say that. Well, except for the short meme ones. But anyway, so, then we have to do this level in a way that gives us the three, uh, three green door. Except, I mean... I mean, clearly the problem is that the three green door is the one that is in the way here. So really, we're probably like getting the glitch door or something instead in order to... But we don't need exactly... No, we, we do need exactly three. So it's... I really think it might be the glitch blank door that we are copying into the overworld with this. I guess the question is, what color will this even take, right? Like, uh, if it comes out as a glitch door on the overworld, it just... It's not going to really work. All right, let's try this some nonsense. So, get rid of blank. Go get the 10. Uh, <laughs> get the 3. Keep the 3. 
So we what we we wanted to probably use the negative sixteen now that we just can. Open this. I don't really know why there's a freaking lockless door, really. No, we we want green, don't we? We need green. Pretty sure we need green. Now we don't need to care about purple anymore though. Oh, shoot. We need to get... Okay, we need the Unstar for sure. Which means that we didn't want the orange yet. Which means that this seems like we're taking the same fish first steps. Where we need to get rid of the red stuff. Now, here... Get rid of red. Um... Well, before we get rid of red, we probably want to take this negative. Because, like... We need to get rid of this thing. Okay. Now we can open that. So, hey, looks like we're there, right? We're there. Oh, that, that requires all plus anyway. There's also a lockless purple. Well, the, the lockless monster. Um, no, but seriously, what's the problem? I mean, I could turn this to purple, maybe, if I set it up right. But do I want to? I'm just going to go in here and break this. Wait a minute. No, no, it's fine. It's fine, because I can just go from the other side. I don't need to care, care about the zero. If it was zero, I can't open this, so I need to come here from the other side. So, it comes out as a glitch. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Um, well, there's also this thing. Cost... Now I have a bunch of negative... I have negative eight black keys. Whatever that's worth. I mean, black is no special effect, so... I don't... I also don't own any glitch keys, so I, I don't freaking know what that... Probably what I did wasn't useful. Hmm. Just want to know something. I don't keep these through... Yeah, I don't. I don't keep those through screen changes. But... So weird. Like, seriously, name a single thing you can see that gets rid of three green keys for me. Uh, well, besides the f this, you know, but... <laughs> Apparently, you start from this room now every time, which is the guest room. Looks pretty big. Uh, Beanbag Mountain? Cool. <laughs> I don't know if I should be exploring this. I mean... Yep, a bunch of book covers. Land of the Godless. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is what happens when I'm just, I think I'm gonna explore this area like very gradually because I don't know. We should be focused on the puzzle, obviously. Also, I figure out how to use the uh, this the system. <laughs> what you need to do, well, chess battle advanced first of all. But you have to press save after doing it, and now we have chess battle advanced. I mean, we still need an answer to like. How we're supposed to get rid of our green keys. Hmm. Okay, I'm going back here. I want to confirm something real quick. Undoing does, in fact, undo it. There's... N it's not that level of meta. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Imagine for a second that this is the blank green. We can, we can click it with the zero green keys. We'd have zero green... And then this star glitch key would turn into a gr star green. So we would be able to s keep the green at zero. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And that that makes... Uh, this justifies the blank green, which is sick. Because, like, you know, it's... <laughs> not using any of this? That's pretty insane. Okay. Hmm. But I don't really like what... Really? That doesn't look good at all. Hmm. We need erosion here. It's weird. Do we not like the the three res right now? How would we ever need to interact with purple? Just turn this n into um. Just just keep it at blank. Now we go here, getting a bunch of negatives. Uh, here we are going to break this and do that. Then blank our green keys. Then, okay, now we're gonna save this blank door into the overworld. 
Very nice, very nice. Lock it. So now uh, I will be locked at zero green keys. Cool. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Trapped in a giant mess of tunnels, and the tunnels are made of doors. Carve the path or press B space. Um, this backspace is the thing that makes me go back. Okay. Well, certainly this is a, a little weird. I can break it. I can break it by pressing X to switch to master key mode. Hmm. I'm just currently. I'm just doing nothing really. <laughs> master. Why? Why is this here? Five masters at the end. This is positive in terms. Of, also, I. How much is this? One, two, three, four, five. I want to get as many as possible, right? Hmm. What a weird level. It doesn't look like it's going to be a hard level, but it's definitely very visually interesting. Also, I... The, having the one brown is cursed. That's positive for keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is net equal for keys. That's... It's not positive that way either. Hmm. I don't know. Also, it's three this way. Oh, wow. This is a lot at the end. What the hell? Was there some way that I could get rid of my brown? Like, what is this nonsense? Oh, well, they'll, they'll turn into a brown. Wait. Wait. Okay. That's nine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine, so. Okay, so if we got if we just had another freaking key, this would work. But that seems unlikely to get back up at this point. Is there any way where we break this? Like, come on, it's a nine. But it doesn't look good either. <sighs> so the 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 subpixel dropping is also a pain. Like that I can't walk left or right because this block is slightly lower. Like, what even is that? Anyway, that looks pretty bad as well. I don't know what I'm missing. Well, actually, now this is net positive. Kind of funny that that's actually net positive if you have this block broken. I just really doubt that this is going to work. I'm here with seven keys. This is not enough. I need nine to get past this. Wait, I think I got it then. Wait, no, it's because I can do this. Okay, we got it. We solved it. Because we're leaving behind five, which is exactly enough. Alright. I can't believe we got baited a little bit. It's because brown keys... Um, they Like, brown keys have the effect where they turn into... Uh, they, they infect other doors to become that color. So... Yeah. So now I can just, like, walk around. Except that's not what I want to do. I want to walk to this one first. There you go, because uh, those are all brown blank doors. Alright, there you go. Cool. This does present a problem, though. Because, um, wait, no, I mean, hmm. We do come into it in a... Oh, hold on, hold on, this is real... The, uh... There's something that's going to be really relevant about this, I bet. I bet the idea is, like, you, you, like, you turn, um, you turn this one into something else... Then you go into level 4, page 4, by using the entrance on the left side. And that will allow you to do something different. Which you might have been able to do with page 2 as well, if I could figure out maybe. But it's possible to come outwards from page 2 and grab 100 cyan keys. I don't- wait, I'm- hmm. But there's also page 5 that just unlocked, so I don't know. Maybe we go there instead. Uh, well, there's the imaginaries, so there it is. Hmm. Hmm. The door salvaging. A door can't be salvaged if it still has leftover copies. So that means if you, like, duplicate a door, or if, like, the door has another door stacked onto it effectively, then it can't be salvaged. I get lost in translation. Well, I mean, first of all, let's just get the goal, obviously. Hmm. So, what it means to, for a door to have an imaginary copy is that the door can be opened with a different view. Uh, where if, if I can freaking remember what, what key that was to change the view of a door. 
<laughs> yes, here. So the, in the imaginary view, doors have different costs. So, yeah. This is way too much of a mess. I'm just gonna, like, do random things. I... Uh... Like, okay, we can break that door. That is a red converter door, which leaves only an imaginary copy, as you can see by, like, the, the rainbow, uh, slowly changing border. Hmm. Now I need a blank. Uh, there's a red glitch. We can open that up. That, that's currently, which is kind of funny, like, it is a glitch red door right now. And it's on red, so it acts like a normal red door, letting me blank and get four brown keys. Hmm. Like, what are we doing here? Isn't every door available? I guess the most out-of-the-way door might be this, uh, blank brown door? I don't know. Because can't I access every door already? Or, like, like what is this? Either that or, like, this, there was a certain door that I need to blank. Also, I accidentally blanked that one. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I accidentally salvaged that one. Weird. So, I, there's a bunch of blanks in that room and stuff. So... It can change the color of this glitch door, for example. Then we have this 50, and where's the next level? Oh, I think this is the next... Maybe this is the next place to go to. Hmm. So the pink door is, uh... It, it requires one frozen red. I mean, like, it's a frozen door, so it requires the red key to break it. Now, it isn't exactly one, so maybe it's this one. Like, maybe the data just refers to the glitch key stuff and not the brown key stuff. I don't know. But certainly this one feels like the one I might want to break to create red. Because it is a negative glitch. And that will give me positive red when it's, uh, when I open it. So why can't I use, like, my, like, this, the way I opened it before? Hold on, I need negative red keys. I mean, but this is so, this is way too simple for the first, uh, you know, thing. Like, yeah, I can just open it right now, so why don't I? So this would mean that there's a color of a door that I can use to gain red, which is uh, basically, I'm going to go to the cyan now. I'm going to go to here, then leave the level. Wait, that didn't work. What? What? Hmm. Okay, w w weird. Um, sure, what about now? What about from here? I do this, then go back. Okay, now I have 100 cyans. Except, no, we need negative cyan to open this. I and mean, what I have is 100 positive cyan. Hmm. However, it is a bit suspicious that there's four negative four like pinkies, and again, we want to get negatives of of values. So, is is it possible that we turn this into a pink? There are freaking pink doors in here. Like the reason we would want to break a to create a pink door is to set the glitch key. Uh, to set the glitches to purple. What? Set them to pink, I mean. The problem is every pink door in here requires a sacrifice if I turned it. Like, like that one? Even that requires me to have three white keys in the overworld. And I don't have three white keys in the overworld. I have no way to get that. Hmm. Is there another door in here? Maybe. I don't know if they're going that meta yet, because, like, there's... There... Like, this door is not the only one that could work to create- to give me red keys. Uh, I could also get this one or this one, I'm pretty sure, which just start out as, uh, costing four pink. However, they're a bit cursed because they have stacked copies of themselves. I do have the negative master key, but using it- I can't see it because it's frozen, but even so, this is a negative copy of this door. Meaning that if I added a key, it would probably just delete the door. And this one, we would have to get rid of the imaginary copy for us to make this work. Also, this one is suspicious as well, because it's a negative copy of the red door. Which means that the positive one is like the flip versions of the things that we saw before. Like, this is a- this is real- <laughs> This one's real identity is something more closer to this. Anyway, let's try to go for the brown keys and, like, get four eye brown keys or something. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to even get eye- uh, eyes worth of brown keys. Hmm. Eight's bad, but I don't know what to do. I can do this, which I'm pretty sure I did before. But now with the brown keys in here, I can go here. 
Go, go to zero round. Collect two I round keys. Now, oh wait, I need to curse this door. Hold on. Hmm. What if I master key that? It turns into just I, which doesn't look great. Hmm. But anyway, we curse that door. We uh, turn this entire door to just like a regular brown, getting to zero brown keys, and now pick up this. This, this open it. This costs four I and. No, because it still has... Oh, oh, this is the interaction. So, then I use my master key, negative master key, to get rid of the negative one real copy. So now it's just an imaginary door, which I have the four brown keys to open up. Whoops, I need to... <laughs> Hold on. Use the storage of that first. So, will it remain as a cursed and all brown? It does not! Okay, great, great. This is exactly what we needed. Cool. So now we have the red keys, because again, this is a... Uh, this is a... <laughs> negative pink door. We have uh, the pink keys that redirects it to gain red keys. And now... Oh, God. What? what? Wow. <laughs> Very decorated. And turn the entire thing brown, which requires four browns to open that one, if I decided to do it that way. Hmm. But wait a minute, I, I could just go there, right? No, wait, what? Oh, there's... Oh, okay. The, the window, which is made up of blanks, that implies that now this would mean that I need four brown keys, but also need zero brown keys, which is not possible. So therefore, uh, I can't do that. Hmm. So what do you open? I guess you just don't want brown in there, but I can't jump that high, so... Hmm. Very strange. I can't jump that... Well, no, I could jump that high. Maybe it is about getting to zero brown keys then. Okay, how do I do that? I think zero brown looks a little impossible right now. This really is strange. There's a, there's a negative cyan key. Like, what does that even do? I can't even obtain a red, so what's the point of that one? Here's the the one thing that I can think of that is relevant is I get rid of both white. Now go here. I have the negative... And more importantly, I have zero brown keys, so I can just go here. Okay. Nice. Cool. <laughs> wow, so very stuck. Um... Tell a joke. Did you know that writing flavor text is a fun way to distract yourself from writing UI code? Thank you. Very suspicious. By the way, I... I'm just... This is too suspicious. I mean, like, I, I know, like, I could say that for anything. But, like, is there... Maybe they hid... Maybe there's something hidden inside the... No. <laughs> no, come on. Like, come on. Like... Well, there's no way to touch the brown door um, while having the brown locks on it and not curse it, so... I... Uh, what, what? I don't know. Well, I guess I'm just gonna return to title. Let's see if I get any more lore information, like the stylish bed and the little Z's that you're not gonna code. No nap time room <laughs> yes amazing let's also see what's inside the fridge curiosities star cookies canned tea you're not tall enough to reach the freezer it's an ice maker maker <laughs> cool patrick's ice cream maker so now that that's done, I mean, now we have page 7. Get a high score. Oh my god. So I need 400 purple doors to get there. Shh. Sure, sure. Like, I believe this is the same as the World 7 puzzles. What is the World 7 puzzle? Yeah, I mean, it's clearly 256 now. Okay, let's... Here, here. Hmm. I mean, clearly we have 256 on here. 
400. It's like everything is changed. So analyze difference, why even necessary? I mean, we have white keys all over the place. Which is the most notable difference. In fact, why does it say blank white door here? So you, you can't get the freaking white? Unless there's a white disguise? Hmm. There's a blank black door for whatever reason. We are forced to get four. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's, let's just try to go for the goal, which requires a lot of duplication. Like, we have this blast purple door, which is the cost of all minus cyan. So you get negative cyan keys, use it on the blast purple door, and then you basically, like, can you've gained a ton of purple keys based on your cyan counter. I swear I remember the high score freaking level allowed you to get way over 400 or whatever. But we can, okay, we can do that and spend to gain a ton of cyan. Hmm. So there's a lot of sacrificial things here as well. Like, that gets rid of all of my purples, but then let's we get it back. That cyan costs all cyan. That doesn't really do anything extra. We are trying to aim towards, like, getting tons and tons of keys. Oops. Hmm. What I'm doing now is not necessarily the best, really. Um, just, like, doing nonsense. That's not good either. How much is this one? It's, uh, 24. So, I mean, at this point, you do want to get rid of your cyan keys if you have a thing that will generate a ton of cyan for you, which is like that. <sighs> okay, I got a higher number, but it's not that impressive. So, the general intuition for this kind of thing is... Like, because the Blast Cyan door and the Blast Purple door effectively give you the other color, to get the best use of the resources, you should just try to alternate between the Blast Purple and the Blast Cyan. And also the stuff that you do when your keys are at very low amounts is really, like, it's really important. <laughs> I think I want to restore my purple count. Well, hold on. He wants to destroy that door when I have a one, because that's the best time to destroy it. Now go here. Destroy that. Okay. So, now I can start doubling with all of this stuff. Because I have Blast Cyan's around here, Blast Purple's around here. Let's see how, how high this will go now. I do this, and then start to deal with the other doors. Hmm. Okay, now switch. What, what is this? D double it and give it to the next person simulator. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually much better than I had previously. Hmm. Reset. I did have a bunch of other failures. Uh, like, let's go here and try to juice up the numbers before... Uh, like, th there has to be a point where, like, I... I want to destroy the doors, all the doors I can, with the with a certain color like purple, which in this case was only that one. Then destroy it, then get my uh, number back. So... Shoot, now purple is at nine. Um, hmm. Just keep adding the numbers up, I suppose. And here... Negative three... I don't know if this is the best. I don't know, but I'm what I'm trying to do there is just keep it as efficient as possible. Like like try to get rid of doors of that color before I blast them all away using those blast doors. So now again, I'm just using the uh, I'm using going back to the alternation strategy. 168. That's really good. Uh huh. Okay. 416. Okay, there we go. Is that the max? Who freaking knows? Uh, but we still need something. This pink. How do we even get that pink? And then there's still that thing at the top, which I don't understand. Uh, how we can get to 50 with those. And why are why would they be black keys? Hmm. Well, it's nice to be able to solve the level, of course. So, uh, imagine... Actually, you're pretty stuck down here. 
Oh, that that's like um something about that suggests that actually you're supposed to get rid of the blank um black door, right? Because it's the most out of the way one and it serves absolutely no purpose in the puzzle at all. Hmm. Okay, well, let's find a way to get 7-7, seven, seven, I guess. Hmm. 3-3. Three, three. We can get to 3-3. Three, three. I'm pretty sure we got to 7-7, seven, seven, like, in the... <laughs> like... In, um... Uh, in the freaking attempt before. Here's 7. Although now we want to get rid of Cyan. Well, that 7-7 seven, seven was easy. Oh, with the... White! Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, what the hell? Huh. We got a white somehow. Oh, okay. So we don't... We cannot get to 7-7 seven, seven using any of the whites. Obviously, I mean, like, I should have remembered. That's the whole point of the puzzle design. But 7 is prime, which means that... Getting to 7 by this means is very awkward slash impossible. Hmm. Alright, so... I, I actually did, I, I like did it, like by accident, and now I'm showing you the solution again. Uh, so I took that, I'm actually taking both of them, and basically I have to keep three. Three is like too high, and, and it's an odd number, so we need to keep that. So I got to four in some way. <laughs> did, did I stay at six? Yeah, okay, here. We are now at negative seven on si uh, negative cyan, which is good. And now we just switch uh, purple by getting rid of it with the blast purple and then turning it to seven. So there you go. And with no whites. So now go here, take black. Uh, the blank black door. So now I can open this up. Why would I want to open this up? I re Oh, what the? <laughs> Chapter two, Frozen Palace. Not to be confused with that other palace and whatever the hell this thing is. Anyway, I enjoy the developer's commitment to having no closure about the overworld area in here because... <laughs> ah, yeah, sure. I just... I, 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 we're, we're just not gonna do the entire chapter... Oh, here's the pink key! Like, yeah, sure, let's go get the, that, that 50 pink keys and bring it back! <laughs> I'm sure that'll work. What the hell? Oh, no, this is the level one. God damn it. Guess the sign was right. 